there's somebody here you you used to sing or you liked to sing but the devil somehow you lost your voice somehow something happened to your voice where are you your your voice is just gone something is not right who is that person here there's somebody here your voice your voice something happened to your voice why are you crying my sweetheart this girl you may still wants to worship you this girl you created I, why are you crying it's your first time here not your first time yeah why are you crying your case is before the headquarters of heaven tell us what happened to you i lost my way with god you lost her i lost my way with god you lost you lost your way with god after i gave birth to my child i just gave up everything oh the man left the person that was the father he left before he even gave birth and he used to be a christian no he didn't use okay and you felt god abandoned you or yes. what i felt like as if god abandoned me i gave up on singing i gave up on church i gave up my relationship with god i i know under this atmosphere you are saying this is it this is this is this is what i want to do this is how i want to serve him he says that you let you know that he loves you so much that it doesn't matter how far you've gone he still loves you and he wants you to come back and he will restore you before the restoration jesus <laughs> let her go let her go this girl you may still wants to worship you this girl you made my god i want her to sing come bring her i want her to sing you used to be in the choir somewhere you used to be in the choir yeah i used to be the worship leader assemblies of god As, that's my church you had me say it's my church assemblies of god okay worship leaders sing a song for us your favorite Okay, music department. Come and run quickly. Just instrumentalist. Let us sing. Oui, c'est la sempi. Loya. Oui, la chesu. Oui, c'est la sempi. Sempi loya. When I'm su che su ui si segue lo sempi lo ya su che su ui si segue lo sempi lo ya Father Lord you are the pillar that holds my life. Oh, you are the pillar that holds my life. Oh, Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. We see Sega Lord Sampi. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
Venezuela hoy se sigue los empilos, empilos ya. You are, you are the pillar that holds. You are the pillar that holds my life. Hey, hey. Said you are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds my life. <laughs> Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Please tell us your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Goketso and I am from Pretoria. It is, it is, it is a miracle in disguise. Um, I have to be honest, it was a very, very powerful experience. Um, didn't expect it, um, but I have to say, thank God. Amen. We thank God with you indeed. Now, we saw you so emotional, especially when the men of God say that there is somebody who stopped singing, somebody who used to sing. And there you were, you were standing up, you stood up and you were in tears. Why all the emotion? What is the story? Um, when, when Bishop said there was someone who stopped singing, it immediately just ticked. Um, in me that um, years ago, uh, six years ago, I, I literally stopped singing. Um, I gave up on my relationship with God. I gave up on anything that had anything to do with God, be music, be fellowshipping or anything. But then today it took me back and it, it, hum it somehow reminded me that giving up is not the easy way out but um, to stand tall and to say, God, here I am, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing it again. I, this is my first step. This is, you know, the, the, God has opened doors for me. This is a new chapter, and this is the new beginning for me. And from today, this is where I say, God, thy will be done. Yeah. Absolutely, thy will be done. And um, we saw you also giving your life, resurrendering your life back to Christ. Bishop Dr. Ida Pirasite led you once again um, through that prayer as you recommitted to your life to Christ. It was something that I really needed and really wanted for quite some time. Um, like I said before, I kept on changing churches, thinking that if I go to this certain church, maybe things will change, I'll get back into track. Um, until I came here today, um, for me, um, it is a blessing. And today's prophecy allowed me to, it actually took me back to how good it was, how good it is to be in the presence of the Lord, how good it is to, to, to have God in your life, how good it is to allow God to lead you from one step to the other. What a beautiful moment, you know, as you surrendered your life to Christ, back to Christ. And, and, and they were, how are you feeling now that you've just done that? How, how are you feeling? Um, I've been carrying this burden for quite some time. And it is great joy. It is absolute great joy. Um, it felt good. I just felt this touch, this powerful touch that reminded me of how, how it was back then. And I don't want to lie. Anyone who does not know this experience, they're missing out. You know, here in the Miracle Center, um, our Father in the Lord, Bishop Dr. Ida Peter said, he's Poba, the one who just takes you into your destiny. At this very moment, do you feel you've been connected with destiny? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Because um, at that moment, I, I, something just played back, you know, took me straight to the stage. 
of how happy I used to be. I'm so happy when I'm in the presence of the Lord. I'm stressless when I'm in the presence of the Lord. No matter what comes my way, all I do is say, God, you know what to do. You know, being in the presence of the Lord is more important to me than anything else. And today it was a redirection. And I really appreciate and thank God and thank you know, um, um, the anointing of the house that redirected, that God used Bishop to, 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 to send the message back to me that you are needed in the presence of God. You should come back home and this is where my home is starting today. This is where I'm going to build my life.